Hi, my name is Pauline Biachika. I'm a medical doctor and an associate professor of internal medicine. EDCTP supported my postdoctoral studies in the field of HIV and malaria. Because they supported my postdoctoral studies, I was able to publish this work and these publications contributed to my promotion to associate professor. EDCTP is funding my current studies, my current clinical trials. I got a spanner in the works and I had to add to my research focus, therapeutics for COVID-19. At the time COVID-19 started here in Uganda, we realized that we were having uh, younger people getting COVID-19 and we also had a milder form of the disease. The question we wanted to answer was, would hydroxychloroquine be beneficial in reducing the time to viral clearance if patients with mild COVID-19 were given the drug? Okay, so hydroxychloroquine is actually one of those old drugs that are repurposed for trials for COVID-19. So these drugs were um, shown in vitro. In vitro means studies in the lab showed that um, hydroxychloroquine had antiviral properties and anti-modulatory uh, properties, meaning it had benefit in reducing viral replication as well as reducing the effects of the disease caused by the immune system. So that is why we are here in the lab, to show you how this process is all done using these gadgets in the lab so that they can determine how much of the hydroxychloroquine drug gets to the patient's blood circulation after the patient has swallowed the tablets of hydroxychloroquine. So we are doing this as a randomized controlled trial and comparing it to the standard of care. Uh, we are halfway through the trial and uh, conducting the drug assays for hydroxychloroquine so that we can correlate the drug concentrations in plasma with the treatment outcome. So at the end of the day, we're able to know if what we are seeing as treatment outcome is actually due to adequate serum concentrations in the patients.